My name is Katina Brunson. I'm a solutions consultant with Autonomy. So I help customers who want to deliver an automation solution for their company. And Autonomy is a platform that has a base of RPA, but we also deliver the entire solution for the client, and I help them bring that to reality. So I've actually been in IT for over 20 years. Believe it or not, my educational background is in marketing. But when I graduated from college, I did that for maybe a year, and I decided that it wasn't for me and that I really wanted to get into IT. And I did that starting out as a Y2K programmer. So that's how I entered the field, and I've been in IT ever since. So I started out as a developer, and I played a really technical role for the first half of my career. And then after a certain point, I decided that I wanted to segue into something that had a little bit more of a mix between technology and something that was more client-facing, and that's how I got into consultancy, which is what I do now. Well, actually, in high school, my concentration was computer science. So it was almost like coming home. I don't even know why I majored in marketing. I think that I just had a little bit of insanity there for a second, because IT is what I've always wanted to do. I just didn't major in that when I went to college for some reason. I felt like technology was the future, and I wanted to be in a field that had endless potential for growth, and that's what made me decide that I really needed to refocus and get back to my roots and get back into doing IT. I think we can all agree that automation is the future. There's endless opportunity in terms of just RPA and the field of automation, especially with um, Platforms like Botani, for example, which takes RPA and adds another layer to that in terms of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and a full solution for automated solutions for companies. And as such, there's all types of opportunities for people that want to enter this field. If you want to be technical, you can do that. You can code automation. If you're not as technical, but you're a logical thinker, you can do that as well, because a lot of the tools are so user-friendly you can create automation, but you don't have to be a developer or a coder to be able to have that skill set. And then there's always a consultancy role, which is what I do. There's always going to be a need for someone who can kind of straddle the fence and speak both languages so that you understand the technical piece, but you also have the communication skills and the people skills to be able to interface with the client and with the business and bring that together. So whether you want to be purely technical whether you want to be client-facing or a combination of both, I think the opportunity is there, especially in this field because RPA and automation is growing so fast. So one of the most important factors for success of RPA or an automation project is having someone on the business side who truly understands that process. So if a woman is a process expert, that is an excellent opportunity for her to be involved in this journey because she can contribute her knowledge and her skills about the process and about the business because that level of knowledge and having be, being able to go in depth with the process flows that we want to automate is absolutely critical for a successful automation project.